Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. So it's Monday and it's a new week to start doing some crafty things. So last week I was on Amazon and I found these. I haven't even opened them yet. So it's little like um, photo album type things for three by five index cards. So you get three in a pack. They hold 240. I don't know if that's for all three combined or each little album holds 240. So we'll have to open that up and see. It was $7.99 for three of these albums. So let's open this up. I thought um, this would be fun for like my husband because he likes to write down all his recipes when he's um, doing the smoker and that kind of stuff. And same with my oldest son. So let's see what we get here. Oh, they're each individually packaged. Well, that's nice. Okay. Lots of plastic though. All right. Where's the opening right here? So $7.99. So eight bucks divided by three. What's that? Approximately two bucks and some change. Ew. Keeping that envelope. That's a good one. Okay. So here it is. Obviously, it's not folded yet, so you have to... So here are the things here to fold, right here and right here. The little score lines. Okay, so here's the album. Well, this is cute. Okay, and then it holds... Where did the cards go in at? Oh, right here. Okay, so here's some blank 3 by 5 index cards. Let me just see here. Wow, I could probably use a little bigger card in here, huh? So I thought that would be fun because then you can collage on index cards, which are extremely inexpensive, and then keep them in like a little binder. So here's the other thing I thought this would be cool for. Um, an ephemera storage. Oh, there's the little thing right here too. So you could put ephemera in these and store like magazine clippings or cut and collage book images. I don't know, $7.99 for three of these. That's pretty good. So yeah, so I thought it would be really fun to just play with some three by five index cards today and we'll collage on them. I have a bunch of like cut and collage book images here. Um, as well as some of Anton's black and white images, if I wanted to use some of those as well. Um, so I'm just going to put a bunch of different images out here, and uh, we can play. Okay, so these are ones I cut today, this morning, and I have some ideas. So I wanted to see how much of this would his frame take up the whole... Oh, no, it does. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut him out of the frame then. Okay, so my first thought was for this one, I wanted to do a bear. And I'm going to use some of my B origami paper for that. And I was thinking I might grab that. And I need something with a B on it. All right, let's cut this bear out of the frame. I wish they made the bear a little bit bigger in the frame anyways. So this doesn't bother me at all. So let's just quickly cut him out. Index cards are super fun to create on because they're only three by five inches. I mean, you can get larger ones too, um, but it's kind of like making an artist trading card, but just a wee bit bigger. Um, you can also use these as pockets in your journals or your glue books if you want to add pockets. I don't normally add things like that in my glue books because to me, glue books are more of a flat. You're just gluing some things on it, but... Art is in the eye of the beholder, so if you want to add pockets and all that stuff, go for it. I have done it in the past. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, should I leave the bottom part, though, of the frame? No. Well, should I? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. There we go. Let's just cut this off. Oops, I did not that good that's fine okay so we'll put the bear actually i could put the bear more like this we could do it um horizontally instead of vertically okay so let's do that let's do them let's put them no, let's not do them horizontally oh my gosh <laughs> okay so i want to take i definitely want part of the b to show so i'm thinking i'm just going to rip this little 
corner off right here. Put it like this. And maybe cover this whole thing. Let's cover this whole thing first. Okay. I'll just glue right onto my index card here. Man, those little albums are a great deal. $7.99 for three. Love it. This is going to be a fun little project. This is a great project to take with you, too, if you're traveling or anything like that. I cleaned my little scraper tool yesterday. I couldn't take it anymore. It was disgusting. Okay, um, let's just use my paper trimmer to trim this off. Mm. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I might need to redo this. Let me go this way. Like, oh, no, like this. Just kind of have a little break in the... Okay, I'm going to try that. It's a little unusual for what I would normally do, so I'm going to go for it and just see if I like it. That's the cool thing about smaller projects like this. It's a great way to practice, to experiment, you know, all that stuff. All right. Ah! Move over bacon. Okay, so we have that. And then we will put this right here. Here, I'm just going to move it over a little bit. Have a little bit of a break in there. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, I'm excited. This is fun. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay. Now, I'm using blank um, index cards, but you can use any index card. Um, the blank ones were just as cheap as the lined ones, so... Um, I just went with blank. Okay, and I usually prefer to use my X-Acto knife for this, but for video's sake, I'll just do this today. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I am home alone, Bob's at work, the boys are at the beach. And I feel weird not having my kids here. Let me tell you. Okay, so let's put the little bear right here. It's the bear necessities. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I told Bob last night, I'm like, what am I going to do when the kids move out? Like I, Bob was like, what is wrong with you? Because I just, I could not stop pacing. And it's funny because he says that to me, but you know what he did for three hours after the boys left? Cleaned, deep cleaned the entire house, pulled things out, dusted everything. So I think he was feeling a little something too. Or maybe he was just glad the kids were out of the house so he could clean really well. I don't know. Um, my husband loves to clean. He is a clean fanatic. Um... So that's just kind of how he handles things. Okay, so I, because that's how I roll, like to round my corners. You do not have to. I just like to do it because I don't know. It's just kind of the thing that I've been into the last couple years. Okay, so I have that. That's adorable. Did I? I did. I missed. There we go. Okay, so that's cute. Do I want to add a quote? I do. Let's add a quote. You know, I'm going to pick this one. I don't know. It just speaks to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it says, it's the little things that make life big. And I like it. I also cleaned my scissors yesterday. Oops. Oh my gosh, a truck just went by and I had like this... <laughs> dog hanging out the window you know how it's hopefully it was tied up you know a little bit because that always makes me nervous that the dog's gonna fall out of the car I got these little cool like seat belt strap things for my dog so essentially you stick it into the seat belt like the lock like you would your seat belt um, and then it's like a, a le short leash basically and then it goes into your dog's collar so that you know if they want to kind of stick their head out the window they won't they can't fall out you know 
That would be horrible. Oh, now I went too high. Darn it. Again, jeesh, get it together. That's where it's staying. I don't care if it's crooked. Okay, it's the little things that make life big. I'm gonna go around this in some brown because I think that'll kind of tie it all together. So let's do that. This is like the perfect size to play. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is fantastic. I could go add some gold dots like I did with some of my other stuff, but oh, this is really bothering me. I have to fix it. I have to try. So there we have that. It's the little things that make life big. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, we'll set that there. Actually, you know what I should do? Let me grab my black ink and my date stamp and I'll stamp the back so I know when I did it. So what is today? Let me just make sure I got that right. Yes, okay. Um, there we go. August 12th. 2024. Okay, so we have that one. Let's do another one. Um, I had something really funny. Okay, so I had this. This was from a cut and collage book. And the, these fingers were together, but I wanted to make them be able to pinch something and I wanted to be able to cut in here. So I just cut, cut that apart right there, cut inside here. And now when I put it down, you can't even tell that I cut it apart, but now I can put something in there. Now let me show you. I was thinking, oh no, where'd it go? Oh, here it is, okay. Okay, I did, I did drop it in my thing. Okay, so I could have this hand up here, like so, and then it's like holding these ladies like that, right? But I thought it would be kind of funny too If I had him, well, actually I could go this way. Holding like a head. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much, but I do, I, I love it. Okay, so now I just need some collage paper. So let me grab some of those and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went in my um, scrap paper bin that I keep like all my leftover bits from projects and I grabbed some teal and some blue I don't know why or <laughs> teal and red I thought that looked kind of cool and I don't know why but this kind of seems a little vintagey to me so I was thinking maybe this and this I don't know I know it's two major patterns together but I kind of want to try it okay so let's put those aside for now I want it going this way I should probably just pretty much cut. Oh my gosh, I tore this like exactly the length of this. <laughs> well, technically I, I did that up there. Okay, so let's just glue this whole piece on here. That'll add extra sturdiness as well. So I'm just gonna glue right onto my index card here. Right on here, right to the edge. So I only have to cut a little bit. Perfect. Okay, so we have that on there. Now we'll add, let me just cut this bit off. I think it'll be easier for me. I don't want to accidentally put any of this white. I don't want that. Okay. Let's actually go this direction. The other cool thing about these is you can doodle on these. You can paint on them. You can make pockets, like I said, or tuck spots for journals. Um, you could collage these and then put them on a, to make a card. You know, you, you could do all kinds of things with these. You could make a glue book out of a bunch of collaged bits of these. Okay. So let's trim it up. If 
you're wondering why I prefer to use my X-Acto blade instead of my scissors, um, it's because I feel like I get a more accurate cut that way. Okay, so we have it like this. Where did my, here they are. No, I think I did like it better this way. Okay, so we have those. And then did I wanna add anything else behind there? I also have this guy, which I considered having him hold because if he was up here and then I could put his little tootsies in here. You know, like that. Oh man, that looks good too. Um, no, I'm going with the head. I know it's funky, but I like it. Okay, so let's start by gluing so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to this finger. Oh no, shoot, I glued the wrong side. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. I glued both sides for good measure. So we'll put it like this. Okay, yes, okay. So now let me glue the whole thing and then we'll put it down. Fingers crossed, no pun intended, that I can manage to do this without pulling it apart or ripping it. Okay, we're good, I did it. <laughs> okay, so let's make sure I get the hand where I want it. Okay, there we go. Uh-oh, I don't have the hand where I want it. Uh-oh, shoot, okay, there we go. Now we do. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it is. Okay. So let me trim off this little excess here. Okay. So that's cute. Now I want to put, I need like something super snarky. Where is my Tim Holtz snark? Let's find the snark. I know this one's super simple. I could have made it a lot more I don't know, whatever, but I like it like this. I like simple art. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm picking, is your drama going to have an intermission soon? So let's put this one down. Okay. Is your drama going to have an intermission soon. Okay, so let's put this like, I'm gonna make it a little bit wonky. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna put a lid on my glue stick so it'll be just a second. All right, so. All right, I think I'll just go around this in whatever residual brown I have left on here. Or should I go around it in black? Because <sighs> of the letters. <laughs> nah, I think I'll stick with tan. Or brown, I mean. I forgot that I put a new spongy thing on my, so I don't have as much residual on here anymore. Got to build it back up. That's annoying. Oh, well. Oh, man. And I messed up there. Sorry, I was watching a skateboarder go down my street. <laughs> I had a lot of skateboarding lately. I must be back in. They're supposed to be, like, repaving my street today. And we've had signs up, and there's nobody here repaving it right now. So that's interesting. Cars are driving by and everything. Okay. That's cute. All right. Let me add my date stamp, and we'll do one more. That really irritates me, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Ta-da, two down. Next, okay. Let's do another one. Oops, I was trying to close my door the wrong direction. All right, so for this next one, what do I want to use for paper? You know what I was thinking? I still have these, my little cut-ups from my 
Tim Holtz wallpaper. So let's use those. I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue because it's faster and this is thick paper. So let's add some of these. I really like this. Let's just add this. And it has texture. Okay. There we go. And, ooh, would this fit? No. Let's put this this way, because that fits right on there. But I don't need too much. Okay. Just put a little there on the bottom in case I didn't get it all the way to the bottom of my paper. Yeah, perfect, okay. Okay, and then we'll trim that in a second. Let's add, ooh, that almost fits. I like this one. All right, let's do this one. Okay, put that right here. And I need one more strip for right there and I definitely know I have one. Okay, I'm gonna add this piece and I'm just gonna add the glue straight onto here. Perfect. I could sit here and just collage these for like hours. I might actually do that today. That way you, I have like a whole bunch that are just like ready to go, you know, then I can just, okay, uh, just start collaging on them. You know, you could like mass, mass make a bunch of collage backgrounds. Oops. Okay. So for this, I am going to use my cutting mat. I don't know why I wasn't doing it before. Okay, so now we have this one. What do I want to add? So it would be kind of interesting if I had like this and then, I don't know, like a lady waiting for her. Oh, she's not the right one. She's too tall. Could also just have some dogs. Got some dogs here. What do I want to put with the dogs? Um, oh my gosh, hold on. Would this fit? I was thinking I could have her sitting on this taxi. <laughs> what else could she be sitting on? Here's a car. This car. No, nope, that should be too tall. Okay, so let's go this way. Like an egg. That's weird. I like it though. Um, what else? have an astronaut he's a little bit big yeah I'm gonna put him back in the basket this guy he's also too big I mean I could cut off the edges but ooh 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 I like this um is it a swan or a goose I don't even know um ooh, the giraffe might look good too I do like the giraffe, but what do I want to put with the, the giraffe? I need like flowers or something. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll add some sticker leaves. Let's do that. Let me grab those. All right. So I could have this coming up like so, and then have the, the giraffe like that. Or do I like these? I could have it coming down like it's coming down from a tree. Mm-hmm. I think I'll do that. I don't know. Like I said, we're experimenting. We'll just put some leaves down and then we'll put the giraffe over it and call it a day. Okay, so I want this one to kind of come down at an angle. 
and then I want to cut this and continue to use it. So let me cut this. Okay, so we have it coming that way, that part off. Because I think the giraffe will cover it anyways. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's cut this off. And then I can add this little leaf like right here. Okay, let's put the giraffe back and see. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's put this one down at the bottom. Eh. Maybe I need to go this way. Come on! Ah, oh, finally. Okay. So, we'll put this one... Uh-oh, that's not how I wanted it. Oh, good thing it comes up. <laughs> Wait, is that what I wanted? Eh, I'm just going for it. Okay. All right, and these I'm just gonna straight cut off and not use. Okay, let's give this a little press. This little guy is gonna go right here. Well, now I feel like I need some leaves right here. Okay. I'm just gonna add this half. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa, got a runner. Okay, now we will glue the draft down. Here we go. And we're gluing. All right, it's the moment of truth. Everybody, don't breathe for just a second. We're going through this together. Okay, oops, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> All right, let's trim that. Do I need to trim anything else? No, we're good. Okay, and I'll save this little bit because I could probably use that for something else. Okay, so, all right, let's round the corners on this. I need something that says like, reach for the stars or something. Oh, that's so cute. I love these papers. Okay, do I even want to add a quote? Probably not, because I like the way that looks, but let's just look really quickly here. Is this a snark? Oh, this is snark. I don't want snark. I know, shocking. I'm shocked too. Um, okay, I picked live gently upon this earth. And I'm just gonna put it at the bottom here. And I'm just gonna call it a day on that. Okay. Oh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so let's stamp it. Gotta put the stamp of approval. done. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. Okay, let's put these in my little folder. Okay, we'll start with the bee and the teddy bear. <laughs> little bee bear. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Is there a hair in this? Oh no, it's just a plastic. I was like, okay, ew, there's a hair in there. It's not. It's not a hair. Okay, so we have those two. And then, do I want to put these back to back? I kind of was thinking I would. Um, oh yeah, you have a separate pocket for the back. That's awesome. Okay, there we go. That's so cool. Get down there. All right. 
I love it. This would be a great ephemera holder. I might keep one for an ephemera holder. That's adorable. Look at the front. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I had some crafty time. If you wouldn't mind, please give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you drink your water today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.